Hi, and welcome to question two of the 2023 higher level junior cert maths. If you want a copy of the notes I'm working on, just send me an email to shanetry at gmail.com. Like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. So question two here is, now the first part is like there's three different sections, um, all qualifying for the 15 marks. So usually in a situation like this, if you get one right, um, like one part, you'll get the, the high partial. So um, a company sells t-shirts on a website. Sometimes when people buy a t-shirt, they return it again to get their money back. The diagram below shows the following information for an eight month period. Now then it has just a function. Um, S of N, the number of t-shirts sold on the website in months N, that's this one here. Okay, so there's selling 300, and then it increases by 50 the next month, 50, 50, then drops down and goes up and whatever. Now, R and N is the R of N, the number of t-shirts sold in month N that were returned. So you see 50 returned, 50 returned. So if they sold 350 returned, there's a difference of 250 there. So now it says um, N is an element of N. So it's a positive whole number. Okay. Um, so as you'd expect, the months are positive. And N is less than 8 less than or equal to 8. So it only goes up as far as 8. All values are rounded to the nearest 50. So we see the graph here. Now let's see what the questions are asking. Can we get the attempt? Use the information in the diagram to answer the following questions. How many t-shirts were sold in month 1? Now month 1 is down here. So if I look up, as long as I can see that, that's, to my read of it, is 300. Now, part two then says, how many t-shirts were returned in month two? Now, month two is this line. So there was 50, so it's 100, is up to this, this line here. Half of it is 50, and we know it's rounded. So that's 50. Now, which month had the greatest increase in the number of t-shirts sold compared to the previous month? Now, this went up as the, the steepest slope, so the rise over the run. Um, and you could measure otherwise if you wanted, if you weren't sure. Okay, like this would be 50 over 1 here is a change of 50, 50, 50. But this one here is 150 over 1. That's got a really change of 150. So that is which month? That's month 6. Is it 6 or 7? Oh. Start from the start of month 6 to month 7. I don't actually have the marking scheme open. I wonder if somebody had said six. Um, is the month. Yeah, look, I, mean, I can see how people might make confusing there. Um, seven. So I'm, I'm sure the marking scheme would take account of that. Now, part C then. Part C and D are marked together, and they're worth 10 marks. Okay, so it says complete the table below to show the number of T-shirts that were not returned each month. For example, 350 T-shirts were not returned in month six. So, um, let's see, you want six, there's 400, okay, um, so there was 400 sold, but 50 returned, so there was um, 350 in total, not returned. So number one has 300, but 50 were returned, so that's 250, month two is the same, that's 250. Um, month three has 450, but 50 returned, so that's 300. Month four sold 400, but 100 returned, so that's 300. Month five, 450 were sold, but 100 returned, so that's 350. Now we know month six is 350. Then month seven, 550 were sold, but 100 returned, so that's 450. And then last but not least, um, month eight, 550 were sold and 50 returned, so that's 500. So a nice steady increase. Now on the given diagram, draw a graph to show the number of t-shirts that were not returned for each month. So this is your 250 for month one. Okay, your 250 for month two, then it goes up to 300. Then it goes up to, what well, stays at 300. Then 350, 350, 450, and 500. Now I have a graph um, on the answer here. 
Okay, just showing the difference. So you read this graph and what you've discovered up here in part C. Um, whatever you discovered here in part C would be accepted as fully correct in part D. So if, if you didn't know how to do part C, just make up numbers. Whatever you graph then in part D would get the usually the high partial of one of the two parts correct. Now the last part E says, as a 10 marker, uh, which month had the greater percentage increase in the number of t-shirts sold? compared to the previous month. Was it month three or month five? Now, you got to go back here, I suppose, think about, um, what month was it? Month three. There was 350 um, sold. So we'd have to just be careful of that. Okay, this is tricky. So it depends on how you read it, but um, I have the answer done out here. So month three is the answer. Now, if you look back at the numbers, um, Percentage increase on the previous month, in month three, uh, if I go back here, month three is an increase by 50 from 300. Okay, so it's 50 over 300 times 100 is 16.66%, and whatever. Now, month five, if you look back, okay, month five had an increase of 50, but from a starting point of 400. Okay, and because the numbers are slightly bigger on the bottom here, you end up with a 12.5%. Now that's actually fairly tricky. Um, now I, I opened up the mark, I paused it there and opened up the marking scheme and it says like one correct percentage increase calculated. So if you, if you weren't sure what you were doing, just try to find something. Um, so it says some work of merit. So the three marks for some knowledge of percentages. So it does say percentage of so multiply something by a hundred um, in your gravy for the low partial. Right, that's the end of question two. Um, Send a, an email to me, shanetry at gmail.com, if you want to copy of these notes. Like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. And see you on question three.